Hi, welcome to my water manipulation episode in my piston series. We're going to start rather small with the basics and just apply those concepts in uh, more complex ways as I go along. So the most basic thing you can do with pistons involving water manipulation is block the flow of water using pistons. So as you can see, the water is blocked off right there. And then when we flick it back, the water flows again. The next thing we can do is control the flow of water in a specific direction using a multiple pistons. So here we have a piston up top that's pushing down, and a piston on the left that pushes to the right. Now we can control whether the water goes horizontally or vertically by flicking the switch. So you see the pistons are reversed when this one is active, this is inactive and opposite. All you have to do for that is just take the power from your lever, invert it, take it up some stairs and around and attach it to your other piston so that this inverter makes sure that when this piston is active the other piston is inactive and vice versa. The next thing we can do is take that concept and apply it to specific paths going uh, in a sort of angle. Now as you can see Right now, I have the water set so that it will go that way. So any items that drop in here, or any persons, or any mobs, will take this path and go that way. Now, without these pistons here, there would be a straight line of water as well that would uh, get things stuck. Now that's not a problem with items since they they can't move, but if you're doing this for chickens or something, like you have set up a uh, egg farm and you want to sort the chickens or maybe sort the wolves as well, because you can hook this up to a forest and uh, siphon off wolves into your place. So it works well for that. Um, but you don't want them getting stuck if you're using it for mobs, so that's why you need that piston there. Now what's happening is I have two sources. The one that we just saw is going to come down and meet up with this one. That way we have a source for each piston. Or rather a piston for each source. Perhaps is a better way to say it. So that way um, Whenever we flip the switch, it reverses so that the other piston goes down, this one goes up, and then this water source is funneling water around, and this piston is preventing any uh, straight lines of water, just like on the other side. So then if we flip it, see the difference. So what's happening with this lever is it's taking power from the lever coming around going down here and applying it to this. That way whenever whenever this is on, whenever that lever is on this will be out. And this one is inverted so that whenever that lever is on, this one will be turned off. So if we flip it again, now this is inverted from the off state to its default on state. And this has its default off state being just redstone dust instead of a torch. And then it continues to take that power around through a repeater and into this block, which has another redstone torch on the side. You'll notice that this is rather far away from the uh, piston, 
but that's fine because, oddly enough, pistons can accept power from an angle. So this torch can power that piston, even though it's a block above and to the right. So when I flip the switch, it goes through, and that is defaulted to on, and this piston is down. This lever is also not only powering the wire, but also this piston here. So the uses for this, as I said, could be for siphoning wolves or chickens from a forest or taiga or any other place, or items. So let's say you hook this up to a mob grinder and you have your items dropping from up there. So then all we have to do is come up here drop our items they fall down they get pushed by the current and into our collection area damn pig yeah I love that command Anyway, so then we flip the switch, do the same thing, drops down, and this time the current pushes it to the left, and into our other drops, or collection zone. There's one other direction you can take it, and that is if you put these pistons up and have them push down instead of being pushing forward, you can make these pistons uh, no longer in the way, and therefore you can use the two sources here together and make the path flow straight instead. However, that would be a little bit more involved. So, this is what happens when you do that, but take it to three wide instead of two wide for the initial path. So down here is where everything takes place. We just have our three pistons with three water sources behind it. I'm not going to go into all the redstone technical aspects of this one because that would take way too damn long, but it's pretty simple whenever uh, you're just looking at the functionality. So pretty much water will go to the nearest opening. So if this is the nearest opening, the nearest drop down that is, it will flow in the direction of the hole and pretty much nowhere else and same applies to this and this. So we can use that to our advantage in some ways and also in many ways it really gets annoying but we can manipulate it so that using pistons we get to where we want. This wouldn't be very good for boats but it'd be good for people and since currents are strong enough anyway it'd probably be good for you know making sort of a lazy raft or something. Oh. Pigs really piss me off. But anyway, how it works is you flick the switch in the middle, the sides go down, and you're taken down into the middle. And then when you flick the right switch, the left and the middle goes up. having a bit of issues sometimes with these whenever you're uh, resetting things. So since I've recently reset some stuff, you basically just have to break a connection that's close by. Sometimes you'll find that happens, even though um, you know you've done everything right. It just happens and you just have to reset it and then all of a sudden everything's right again. But anyway, you flip that, that stays down this time since there was that issue, but 
you would just float to the right, as well as any items. Uh, I'll have to fix that sometime. But anyway, the other side works. Oh wait, never mind. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay. Alright, never mind, that's not out. I need to block that so I don't think that way anymore. Alright. It's five in the morning, give me a break. So you flick the other switch and it does the opposite. And then you would fall down and go in. Now as I said, I'm not going to go into all the technical aspects of the redstone, but needless to say, this isn't something you want above ground. This is best used below ground so that you don't see all the redstone that's happening, unless you like the look of all the redstone. I think it's it has a sort of a charm to it, but it's also griefer bait, so it, it wouldn't be very good on SMP. In fact, even given the fact that you know it could be hidden in adminium it's still not good to have an SMP because I mean there's a lot of redstone here the redstone lag would just be ridiculous so using just this simple concept over here this first initial concept you can do a lot of complex stuff pretty much anything you need involving water manipulation can be done using just pistons. So that's all for now. See you next time.